When I was setting up the turkey fence yesterday, this is what I said. They're super easy to move. You can step right over them without turning the fence off. And the T-birds don't get out. T-birds don't get out. Yeah, not so much. This morning, I woke up and all the turkeys were out. Look out the window this morning. And all the turkeys are out. All of them. I hope they're not all dead. I found four. They were easily put in. Shoot. Have I lost 16 turkeys? Okay, let's check the wood. I think I hear him. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It wasn't the fence's fault though. It was it was human error. I saw the problem when I came out here. It's not even touching. This has to be to that. You see, the wires from the electricity source have to make it actually to the fence for it to work. And in this case, at one of our shutoffs, the wire was actually disconnected. So that's not gonna work. I was freaked out. Beautiful, my children. So disappointed. And I was so happy when we found them. It was really kind of a rookie mistake. Pigs knocked over their water and we're missing the plugs. You got water coming? Yes. So we're doing a 50 gallon barrel, temporary. But that 50 gallon barrel won't last long. Not with you huge pigs, 10 of them. See, the plug is missing, times two. And the hose isn't working up to here. I mean, you saw me feeding them some water. They're very thirsty, but the water has stopped. We're too high up and it's not flowing fast. They're distracted with feed. I'm forced to look for the plug for our 85 gallon water. We found one yesterday. They pushed our blue water out and word on the street is they lost the nipple. I don't see a nipple water. We can maybe rig it, the nipple to a hose, to a T-post, to a tank outside of the fence we find that. So we gotta find something because they're gonna be really thirsty. Take this old hose, this broken hose. This is the idea. Will it fit in there? Ah, oh, buoy. It will not, it does not fit in there. I was, I was hoping to fit this nipple water on there. Look how much it rained last night. They said it rained three inches last night, which we needed it. That's not if we needed it all at once. Okay, I see one over at the butchering. It's gonna be big enough. I'm gonna have to cut it, it's the problem. Shoot, I just ruined a good house. I got no choice but to try to heat this up and see if it'll expand. Huh? It's working. Good news, we've got this filled up with water so that we can do a siphon. So the idea will be to Put this end in the bottom of that. And as long as this nipple water is below the bottom, we should have gravity. A siphoning hose, a drinker hose, two tanks of water. Filling up our reservoir. Had to park the truck way up there. We're hoping it's long enough that we don't have to catch another hose. We've got it in the bottom. Hey, does it work? Uh -huh. Pretty good? So what if we drive a T-post, run the hose under, and that's their drinking water? I'm afraid this is gonna be a little Jerry. Somebody's gonna find it. There it is, there it is. Now they're gonna start fighting. That's when things break, they start fighting. I feel like we're gonna do it back to where they can't bend that hose there. All right, let's rinse this rock off. This is gonna be our weight for our hose in the barrel. 
I might have did it. I feel like we rigged up the pigs well enough with that nipple water to hose attachment to get us by, but we're definitely gonna have to reinforce that and improve that soon. Can you spin me? Sure. Did it yet? No. I want you to run. And I'll let you down, okay? One, two, three. You're pretty good. I'm very dizzy. Well, it's been an hour and a half. There's still people over here in line. It still seems, it's still working. I don't know if one nipple is going to be enough for 10 pigs. But it's definitely took the emergency off. Was this full? Was this full all the way down? So they have taken it down a few inches. We're training now. My back was sore. Maybe that was a fluke. We're gonna try again. I was super bummed out about how my back felt during this workout. I hadn't had back pain like that since like day one of this carnivore diet. And I was thinking, oh, the, car the carnivore has done it. The carnivore has done it. And uh, that was discouraging. Burgers every day. I actually like that part. Wouldn't mind some cheese. Another thing to think about surrounding this, this carnivore and then this back pain is, hey, it's kind of good and bad news. I mean, it's, it's bad news in the sense that the carnivore isn't going to heal that back pain completely. The good news is that the carnivore isn't going to heal that back completely and I'm going to be freer to eat other things because that is maybe not necessarily what was affecting it. It is that time of the year. The garlic harvest. It's, it's always exciting because you plant garlic in October and you mulch it and you pretty much walk away. It's one of the easiest crops, but you have to wait a long time because it doesn't come up until June. We're a little late, July, and we're harvesting the stuff. We're gonna harvest the garlic here. Is it breaking off? Get the uh, potato, get the fork. It's right there, Jonah. We've got the garlic. We're gonna set it up to cure. Are you happy with this harvest? Yes. It's a lot my fault that it's not great because I didn't need. Yeah, it. yeah. And hey, it's a, a diminish. At some point, there's a diminishing return. Yeah, I'm a little bummed. I feel like this will maybe get us through the year. I think you're having 80 percent. I think you have 80 percent of what it could have been. I was super thrilled with the harvest. I'm happy with 80% results in the garden. Rebecca, she mourns a death of one plant. Yeah. How much more effort would you have had to put in well, to get that 100%, see what I'm saying? But what I'm wondering is maybe I'm gonna use uh, weed fabric next year. Okay, for garlic? Yeah. Interesting. Part of the problem is this, your darn chickens got in there and scraped off my hay. Yeah. They're my chickens when they get in the garden, but when she made that cake for the 4th of July, they're definitely her chickens. And when you make that ice cream. Yeah, they're definitely mine then. 100% from our land, my baby. Mm -hmm. Potatoes just harvested, beans just harvested, and the beef just harvested it just a couple months ago. How is it? Good. 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 Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. Was it worth it, Mr. Henry? It's a lot of hard work. Papa, look at my shoes. Nice.